Hello everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about PyTest. So before we get into the details of PyTest, how to install it and what exactly it is, let's first briefly go to the website docs.pytest.org and see what exactly PyTest is. So PyTest, if you simply see the two lines at the top here, so it's a framework for testing. So it's a framework similar to TestNG if you have watched my Selenium with Java series. So we have used TestNG, you might be aware of the JUnit, which are the unit test framework. Similarly, in Python, we have PyTest, which is the testing framework to make and write your test simple or even use it to do the selenium testing now testing or the test automation is not just about writing the script to emulate the user actions it's basically about getting certain value out of it right so say for example you are writing a particular test case then that test case should be verifying certain values or certain results after a certain op operation has been performed now how you will be able to do it so there are certain assertions available within the, the programming languages, but there are certain limitations with the default assertions that are available and they might not solve the complete purpose of the testing. And that's where these testing frameworks or the test frameworks come in picture and PyTest is one of it, which we'll be using for testing the application or testing the or doing the verification of the different steps and scenarios in Selenium with Python, right? Now, this framework doesn't comes built in into your Python installation or when we do the installation of the Selenium. So as we have understood in Selenium with Java that you get a bare minimum programming library. So when you install Java, you have the Java libraries, then there are certain external libraries or the packages that you can install, right? Similar is true with any programming languages. So like now we are using Python. So we have the bare minimum Python library. So when we install Python, we have the Python libraries which will have certain classes and methods by default installed in the library and then we have some external libraries that we install say for example we are doing the selenium automation with python so we'll install python then we'll install selenium and now we want to test or we want to have the test framework to be installed so pytest is one of the test frameworks so that is the testing tool that we need to install so we need to basically configure it first so how we can install it now we know from the beginning of the tutorial that we can install any package in python using the pip so pip if you just simply on this page we'll go to this install link here and you can see we simply need to run the following command to install pytest right so pip install hyphen u pytest okay so if we simply run it and after running this particular command prior to this you need to have pip you need to have python okay if you haven't watched my previous tutorial and you are watching directly this particular tutorial go through this particular series at the beginning watch how you can install python and pip and then come to this particular tutorial so once you have all those python and pip installed go to command prompt and here just will type in the command so the command to install pip, uh, pytest is pip install hyphen u pytest so i'll quickly type in and hit enter and you will see automatically it will install get all the dependencies and install pytest okay the thing to notice here is that in the warning you will see that the script has been installed and it's in the location this particular location right which is not in the path so if say for example now after this installation you want to check this version you have to basically say for example you start typing here pytest hyphen version you will see that it is not recognized right the reason is that this location where this particular pytest script has been installed it is not in the path okay so what you have to do is you have to add this particular location in the path okay so or simply i'll copy this and we'll go to this particular location just to check the version and here if you just say pytest hyphen version it will give you the version of the pytest that has been installed right so 6.2.4 has been installed now adding the install location in the system path is very important because say for example you can't keep coming to this particular same location again and again to trigger the pytest right so you have to add it in the system path and to do that simply if i go to the 
my computer or simply just start typing in PC just right click or simply open it and then right click and go to properties and advanced system settings in the advanced system settings you go to the environment variables okay and here if you go to the system variables below this section here and go to the path all right if you edit it and here you can specify the path right so what path we have to specify we have to specify this particular path where this particular pytest script has been installed right so we have copied it and click on new and simply paste the path there click on ok and again ok ok and close this right so now if i close this particular command prompt reopen the command prompt and type in pytest version it will recognize that pytest has been installed right but it doesn't matter which location you are in so at the moment i'm not at the specific location where this pytest has been installed i'm in c users pavilion triple zero still it is able to recognize and that's why you need to add the path so i've explained this a lot of time in the previous tutorial as well but just wanted to cover that how you will add okay so now once the pytest has been installed how you can uh, uninstall it right so there are, there is a second way to install the py pytest as well this is the command uh, line installation now we are using pycharm as well so within pycharm itself you can install pytest as well so let me uninstall it first before that i'll show you if you want to verify that the pytest has been installed so pytest hyphen version is one of the command to check the version or pip list is another command which will give you the list of the application or list of the libraries that have been installed so you can see pytest has been installed and the version will show you show here okay so that's how you will check the pytest installation and how to check the version now to uninstall it i'll simply say pip uninstall and then simply say pytest right it will ask you whether you want to remove simply say yes and it will successfully uninstall pytest if i say pip list again now in the list there won't be any pytest right so you can see there is no pytest in this particular list here okay so that has been uninstalled now from the pycharm say for example you, you want to install pytest so say for example let me create a new project and i'll say learning pytest i'll give the name of the project as learning pytest this project will be using to learn the pytest core concept and then apply those to the selenium automation we'll go to the python interpreter and do not choose this virtual environment we do not want to complicate things simply choose the configured interpreter so the interpreter that is there the latest python version that you have installed so simply select it from the drop down interpreter uh, that you have available maybe by the time you are watching this tutorial you might have the later version of the python simply select that and click on create i'll choose new window and you will see the project got created okay now in the external libraries if you expand here you will see that site packages is what we have got through the pip list right so these are the packages that you see when we do the pip list this is the list of the packages that is displayed here as well and there is no pytest now say for example i want to install pytest from pycharm okay so what we have to do is we simply have to go to the file right and go to settings in the settings within pycharm go to the project and in the project below that you will see the python interpreter and in the python interpreter you will see all the packages that are available or installed at the moment right and pytest is not there now if i have to install pytest from the pycharm I'll simply click on this plus icon here you will see install appear click on it and in this search just type in pytest right there will be many pytest hyphen packages available which serve a different purpose but this is the default one on top of which these are all built so pytest is what we'll select and then check this install to user sites packages because this is where I have installed all the packages so my this pytest package will also install be installed in the same location here and I'll click on install package and once the package has been installed you will see this particular message that it has been installed successfully i'll simply close it and you will see pytest has appeared here the version will be shown here and the, this is the latest version that will be shown okay so which version is installed and what is the latest version that that all will be shown here you can simply click ok and that's where the package will be available in if you expand this here you will see pytest is available here as well okay now if i go to this particular same command prompt again and i'll simply say pip list now it will give me pytest in the list as well and if i say pytest 
version you will see pytest 6.2.4 version is available for me now all right so this is a brief introduction about pytest what exactly pytest is it is a testing framework for python so if we go to the website this is very you know common thing so you'll see that pytest is a framework for building simple and scalable tests okay similar to test ng that we have used in Py selenium with java we'll be using pytest for selenium with python to write our test cases and use this framework to write the effective test verification for selenium with python so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching